You know what I love about work days? Is when they let me off early enough to come and hit up Goodwill. First item we got before our eyes, and I paid eight bucks for this. I believe it's green, okay? I'm not sure, could be brown. I always wanna keep in mind to see if all the buttons are there. Give them a little, little, give them a little movement, see if, you know, they're loose. You might have to adjust them. And putting on buttons isn't hard. You need very little skill. Say there is a button missing and there's something you really wanna get on buttons on the inside, which is good because for the buyer, you could add that in there, extra buttons attached already, just in case one comes loose in the future. There's usually a tag along the inside inseam, sewn inseam, and if there's no inseam here that's sewn, then I just call it a uh, rib length. It's 100% cotton. The thing with busy type shirts is that there might be little pukas in there, little tiny holes. So you wanna look at everything. You always wanna look at the armpits. Are they worn? Are they stained? You wanna look at it all, people. Front and back, but it does take a little bit of effort to make sure you're getting the best items that you can, especially if it comes to reselling, even for yourself. For yourself, there's leeway, but when it comes to making money off of every dollar you put in, you're always trying to better your odds. There's some polo vintage shirts that have sold for hundreds of dollars and lower. So for me, me, I really like this shirt and I'm hoping to get some good money out of it, especially spending eight buckaroos. I usually don't spend that much on shirts. The K-Swiss retro style looking 80s, 70s with the twist of 90s pop streetwear until now. $6, I don't think I've ever Took in consideration looking at K-Swiss. Growing up, for me, this wasn't a brand that I could afford. <laughs> Subconsciously, I'm like, K-Swiss is not for me. When I looked up K-Swiss, there was huge surprise in the amount of money vintage shoes go for. They could go for hundreds, hundreds used K-Swiss shoes that are used. And that alone, I could not find any K-Swiss jackets. I found one, but nothing like this. And I'm gonna shoot for the moon on this one. There is some stuff on here. I'm gonna throw it, take it through the wash. It should take out that little light blemish there. These type of hangers are amazing. I use this type of hanger every time I use pants, especially taking photos. These hangers at Tarjay, probably around a set of four or around, I think seven or six dollars. But if you could find them cheaper than that, they are great to have. I do need to try to find ones that have a longer stem to the left and right because it just helps the way pants fall on here. These are Jay Lindenberg. I may not be able to step all the way back. 
especially with this dog right under me. The Jay Linderberg pants I only got for a dollar. I've seen this before online through other people's channel, which is great about following other people. You get to learn more and more and more and apply it to your hustle. These are in brand new stinking. These are in brand new condition. A little lint on there, lint liquor. And like I always mention with pants, always check the back, always. Cause these heels could run. A lot of people don't wear the right size, which is why there's a lot of drag on the back of the heels which is from the leg openings. This is a really good find. I'll probably end up getting around 50 bucks for these. Let me loosen one of these up so you can see the name on here. Oh, you know what? Let's do it this way. Here is the name, Jay Lendenberg. Just today, I was working on listing hats and I always tell myself, I'm not gonna get any more of something because I have so much of it. But then you come across stuff like this and you have experiences in the past that Certain names, brands, teams just do good for you and you go for it because you just, you just have that insight that some people won't understand. But I get you, trust me. So for spending five bucks for this hat, not a problem. Anaheim Ducks, brand new. New era 59 50, fitted seven and three fourths. Don't know how much I'll get for this. So I guess we'll find out in the future. Hopefully, near future. Two more items to share with you. I came across some more Innovates. I've already sold probably around eight total Innovate shoes, both men and women. I've done good with them. Sometimes they sell fast, sometimes they don't. This one, as you see, blue tag. I only got it for a dollar. And with the condition of this, especially the interior, very clear and clean. Exterior uppers, amaze balls all around. And then here's the undersoles. Nada. Nothing but a blemish that I could scrub away majority of it. And who knows how much this will come across? Maybe 30 bucks, maybe 19, but for a dollar, go for it. That's huge. A dollar into possibly $19 profit, bank. All right, this is the one that may bring in the big buckaroos as well, because everything I go for isn't just for pennies. It's when I came across this jacket, I was like, ooh, it looks brand new. And for 25 bucks, I said, I need to see if this is worth it. When I looked it up online, I didn't come across this exact one, but this is what made me determine to get it, especially at this price. I rarely go for stuff that's expensive, especially apparel. Electronics, yes, because I'm comfortable with it, even though I don't buy too much. But right there and then, I seen Eddie Bauer, I'm looking at the goose down. That's what made me choose to get it. With researching and stuff as well. This is in brand new condition. This scarf matches the inside of it and it's still sewn on to the back of the collar. I chose this Eddie Bauer jacket because I've sold probably around four Eddie Bauer goose down jacket that had brought in $70 or more. And the last one that I sold had um, it wasn't in this area, but Uzi Goose Down has a pouch separate than the lining of the jacket. I'm gonna show you now, and this is my experience with it. See how there's a pocket here? This is the lining. So it has the lining the, where you wear it, of course, but Uzi Goose Down has their own pocket kind of like system going on that's not attached to the actual jacket. Usually there's some type of separation, even if it is sewn together. I checked everything with the buttons. The size is right here size medium with the hood attached inside got a label on here I get to the professionalities let them handle it Ooh, i see a little puka right here but that's not a problem new a defect that's why there's a label on there on ebay hey i'm really stoked about this let's check out the back though we're not done here people not done don't rush me oh it is detachable which is good i didn't see that at first it has the drawstring cords on there like most of them have that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed it thank you all so much for the support and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe tell your friends about me stay tuned for more of me my name is sunny i've been getting asked that a lot lately 
they just say hey Las Vegas thrifts and to me that's the same thing recognize me and I appreciate you for doing so thank you all so much shout out to Big B Uncle Big B if you haven't already check out the description down below I am doing shout outs of people I admire I follow genuine people and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do that's all